But good morning. It's uh, April 8th. It's going to be a beautiful day here. It was chilly this morning, but a beautiful day. And I see 80s uh, upcoming this week. So I've been telling you how the yard and the garden will just explode. And if you look back over some of the um, walkabouts, you'll see how much it's grown in just a couple weeks time. This bleeding heart is just ginormous. You can see how big the hostas are getting. I told you it would fill in this whole area and it's getting there. All along the, the yard. This is the area where just a couple weeks ago was almost barren. Uh, the peonies, you can see the peonies are doing great. Getting ready to start to bloom. One of our favorites. Everything is popping up. We had a ton of rain last week. So, every, and then if we have 80s this upcoming week, things are going to just explode. This bee balm is one of my favorites. It just it just goes crazy, and the bees love it. Some of my wife's uh, favorite cone flowers here. They'll come out really nice. The hydrangeas are doing great just brought them out of the shed from a few weeks ago this guy is uh, the clematis can we see it's just full of full of blooms this thing will explode in color in a week or two or less radish and kale planted oh Pretty early, survived the light cold and is doing fine. I'm showing you this bed of self-sown lettuce. I'll be picking lettuce this week. Gonna let this grow and they end up planting the tomatoes right down the middle of the bed and using the tomatoes to shade the lettuce for later in this summer. The onions that I planted a couple weeks ago, almost a month ago, that were looking pretty shabby, have shook off the cold and enjoying the rain, and they're all looking great. I better trim this, uh, I'll harvest this quite a bit of this chive and dehydrate it, and I better do it pretty quick before this entire bed turns into a chive bed. The lavender is really greening up. You can see this whole bed is pretty much all lavender. You can see all the fresh green growth. This bed will come alive. You got purple, white, and uh, pink plants in here. My minus 10 hardy rosemary is not. So I'm going to dig that out and put a few more lavenders out here and make this entire bed nothing but lavender. The asparagus bed I've been harvesting pretty hard for about four or five weeks and I'm just gonna let it go now. Probably do get another harvest out of a few of these and other than that, let it go. Strawberries are doing lovely. Start munching on those here soon. Strawberries that are in here are happy. These I just planted here a little bit ago so they're happy today's chore I've been talking about it for a while but I'm gonna move this um, this bed down down over there 
And as I do, I'm going to dig it out and put a couple pots. I'm going to dig these pots right down into the soil. And then I'm going to leave them as containers and I'm going to plant blueberries in there. I just have a hard time keeping the, um, the soil amended for the blueberries. So there's a couple people I know here locally that have good luck doing this. So I'm going to move this bed. I'm going to transplant a couple. i got some Shasta Daisy here and some Sweet William. I'm not sure what this is, so probably gonna get tossed I'm gonna do that today They'll keep me busy he's big giant this is lavender and thyme it's always coming back spearmint because it does whatever it wants <clears throat> some more upright thyme and I forget what this is. That doesn't help. I love this along here because let it go wild and it'll fill in and it'll all be beautiful. Greenhouse is happy. Happy, happy, a lot of eggplant and basil and tomatillos and tomatoes and marigolds, some kale, all my little lavenders that are har you know planted from seeds I harvested out there. Borage, which is one of my favorite bee-loving plants. It's all going good. I'm going to share this with some friends at a plant sale and swap next uh, weekend. Save enough for myself. So you can see things are just really exploding. Like I say, back up and look at a couple of the um, walkabouts I did even two or three weeks ago and you'll see it look quite bare. I did buy some zinnia and portulaca and some violas from work the other day. I also want to show you here on Mother's Day this little, little purple violet. This was one of my mom's favorites when she lived out on, um, out in McClay, out on her three acres. It was in a shade area and uh, it grew really well out there well this purple violet that i have here you can see it's coming up in my in the gravel it's moved moved around this is um all that purple violet is from one shovel full that i dug up when we moved out here 21 years ago from oregon i dug up this one shovel full of this violet and brought it out here. Doesn't grow quite as prolific as it did in Oregon, but it survived here and, and uh, reproduced and it's very happy and happy to show it, share it with you here on Mother's Day. Okay, that's today's walkabout going to shoot a, some video as I transplant and move that bed and plant some blueberries. If you're enjoying the videos, come on back. Subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.